Welcome back everyone. Here's Dr. Ray at History Surfer. Today I'm going to talk about Boynton and we're going to head down there and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of the city and we'll walk around and you'll see what's what's left of the old place. Uh, the original city was, I shouldn't say city, I should say area, was settled in 1877 and the first person there was a person named Oh goodness, that's my neighbor. Uh, his name was Dexter Hubble. Hubble has often been forgotten in the story of Boynton because Major Nathan Boynton kind of hogs the show, but he was the first settler there and he lived over on the ocean side. Uh, it was though Boynton who gave the town its name because he along with a land speculator coming later on in about 1881, 1880, excuse me, he is going to build, Boynton is going to build a hotel over on the beach and that'll be the Boynton Hotel. That will be where the city gets its name. The city itself was famous for agriculture, the area, and in fact it was a very fertile area and it was famous for tomatoes, believe it or not, the Boynton tomato crop. Uh, the city's incorporated in 1921 and then there's also dairy by the 30s we see a huge dairy industry originally it was over on the beach area south of uh, where the bridge is today uh, there was a big pasture land there and while it seems kind of strange to people today to have pasture out in the ocean the benefit for the cows was it was less buggy over there and so they actually did better, even though the grass was kind of scrubby. Uh, in fact, between 1930 and about 1960, Boynton supplied most of the milk for Palm Beach County, even though it was processed by other dairies like MacArthur. So Boynton is a, is a pretty important place in, in the scheme of things. Its real boom occurs when Henry Flagler comes to the area. Flagler is the king of Palm Beach County and I, I talk about him a little bit further on. Uh, I will probably because I know we're going to go by the railroad track and that's what he's known for. But he's the one, his buying of land caused the boom here. Boynton now today is going through a regeneration. It's getting redeveloped and millions of dollars are being sunk into downtown development. It will change the nature of the city. There will be apartments, there will be big parking lots. Uh, it's going to really impact the way that the city looks today. And so that's why I wanted to spend a little time in Boynton and show you some of the things Boynton has, as well as the Boynton Inlet, a great place for fishing. Uh, it's just, a, it's a nice place to visit. And even today, it's a pleasant way to spend your day. Go down to the inlet, go to the beach, and then go over to across the bridge and have lunch at Two George's or the Banana Boat or Hurricane Alley. Uh, these are things that have been institutions in the area. So let's go down to Boynton. I'll see you in a little bit. To see old Boynton really this is about all that's left of it there's not too much of the old buildings left the ones that are original anyway this is a part of the original old downtown Boynton uh, here in front of us we're standing in front of the hurricane great place to eat with the renovation of downtown Boynton over I mean they're spending millions down here uh, the hurricane's owner was talking about redoing, or excuse me, closing actually. Sorry, I was thinking of something else. Because she believes that with the three new apartment complexes, two big parking garages, which are some of them going to be behind her, that her business will not be able to compete. But if you do come here to the hurricane, it's a great spot. The Hurricane is really a good spot to eat, has really great food. One of the 
the, the good, really good downtown eats in Boynton. And, and uh, you know, like one of the go-tos for years. Here in the old business district at the end is the Oyer build. This was the Oyer office, still is actually. And Harvey Oyer, who is a part of the Oyer family. They're considered one of the pioneers of Boynton and one of the big promoters of Boynton. Harvey, I mean, he has been involved in historic preservation down here. He's done a lot for the city and for the county in general. In front of that, west, just to the west of it, I guess I should say, is the Dewey Park. The Dewey family were the people who actually, after Linton defaulted on paying them back for the land he got, they platted Boynton, or plotted, I should say, and laid it out. And so they're the ones who really named it Boynton Beach. While uh, Major Boynton was still here, it was the Deweys who owned most of the land. He kept the land where his hotel was on and his family ran that after he passed away in 1911. Uh, so the Boynton Hotel was famous, and in fact, they gave a lot of money to things like the building of the Women's Club. But it was really the Dewey family who had most of the property here in Old Boynton. Okay, now I'm walking down Ocean Avenue, and I'm going to cross over the F. F FEC, Florida East Coast Railroad Tracks. This is the uh, main rail railway for South Florida. In fact, the whole East Coast of Florida because Henry Flagler was the one who built the railway. Flagler developed the East Coast of Florida. And when he arrived in Palm Beach County, it was truly the first land boom in the region. And the railroad ran through main parts of all the towns, stopped in every one of them. It was the lifeline for South Florida. As you can see across the street from me, as I've just passed over the tracks, they have uh, another little commercial district here. We have a little restaurant and some little stores. It's really nice down here on the east part of Ocean Avenue. This is the eastern section before you cross over US 1. And then as we had her head, sorry, further west, you're going to see a change because now we're getting into the area that's truly undergoing most of the redevelopment. I'm probably going to drive up to the end of the street and I'll sign out here soon or, or maybe I'll walk a little more but uh, because it's, it's kind of empty down here you know they've really taken down many of the old buildings and I mean the original estimate was 34 million for the redevelopment of downtown. So far, I don't know how much they've held true to that original estimate. So I think I'll go down to the end of the street. All right, we're down at the other end of Ocean Avenue now. You can see where uh, there's some open spaces here. This is the, going to be the, the, the new town center when they're done. Here in this structure is the Children's Museum. Um, I've never been in here, to be honest with you. But I have had people who do reports in my class, I uh, teach art, art history actually, uh, who tell me that it's a good museum. So it's something you can do with your kids if you come down here as a tourist. It too is a historic structure. And then the big renovation down here was the renovation of the old school building which was super controversial that they were going to tear it down but they did save it 
and so you can see here again that very typical South Florida Mediterranean revival look which is so influenced by Addison Meisner and his building of Palm Beach if you look closely at it around the doorway you can see all the classical elements that are so much a part of that style the Doric columns very classically framed in the Romanesque arch so a really nice structure and it was going to be the cultural center now across the street that what you're looking at down there that's fed that's uh excuse me seacrest is the Boynton beach city hall which is also a new part of the redevelopment of downtown next to it will eventually be it's not up and running yet you can just see there i want to go by this tree here here we go the bandstand so this will be the new part of downtown Boynton and now we're gonna go over the bridge and see some of the stuff on the water all right we're at the Boynton Beach Harbor Marina I'm just gonna walk down the dock I just can't shoot that way too much but you can see here this is where you come this is where the sea mist has always been historically popular drift fishing boats and they have boat rentals they have dive boats down here and we're going to head towards the end of the dock you can see here a dive boat going out and there at the end on the other side is the banana boat, a really popular spot here. I'm going towards Two Georges, which is also a very popular restaurant down here in the marina. Unfortunately, the sun is right behind the building right now. Ah, there we go. Now I can show it to you. Here you go. And it's another really trendy, popular spot on the water here in Boynton. We're here at Boynton at the Inlet. You can see boats coming in and out here. Boynton Inlet was conceived of in 1923 and then constructed in 24. I'll hold this up so you can see over these sea grape trees. It's a really dangerous inlet. It's so beautiful out here this morning. Look at how flat calm it is today. What a difference a week makes. Last week we were talking about Laura. This week we're looking at its beautiful calm. The morning, people are out riding their bicycles, snorkeling. We're at the inlet, as you can see. The inlet has a fixed bridge. And uh, I hate to admit how uh, uh, my dangerous youth is, uh, it, it haunts me when I come here, but we used to jump off of this thing. The current rips through here when it comes to the inlet. The inlet is non-navigable officially. The Coast Guard will not come out this way. And what you're looking at over there is that island, and that is Beer Can Island. It used to be a public, the public used to use it, let me put it that way. I don't know if it was ever officially a public resource, but we used to park our boat out there all the time. You can see everybody going out, it's early morning, it's calm. It's gonna be great fishing out here. 
So you got people coming through the inlet. Let me tell you, coming through here, you have to know exactly what the water's like. Because there's a sandbar out there that shifts all the time. So this is local knowledge only. south side of the inlet. Uh, this side has the restroom facilities and the picnic and everything else here. And uh, everyone's out looking for it's summer. We go out fishing here for dolphins. That's what's uh, big usually, especially if there's a lot of seaweed. You can see them all going out. This is going to be where I'm going to leave you at. I just wanted to say that last week I began this video, so you're going to see me beginning it during the windy uh, pre-Lara period. And for, we were fortunate on, you know, I still feel so badly for everybody in Louisiana and Texas who was so badly affected by it. Uh, but we got a lot of wind, and so I decided to come back and finish the video this week. So don't be surprised, this one sounds much different, but I do have the beginning from when I gave the history in the background from Laura. So don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, like it if you like it. Hope you guys do well, be safe, and peace out.